all right welcome back got another video for you uh, this one is a uh, how-to so uh, not much music involved unless I uh, start singing but I don't plan on doing that so uh, feel free to watch and relax so this is basically what I created a um, simple yet complex space uh, good for uh, survival uh, survival and fending off against zombie hordes so it's been very very effective uh, eventually I will make a video and show how effective this is and and also how to create it so once you practice it a bit it's actually fairly simple so what I have here is uh, my high-tech uh, motivate high-tech trusty little uh, mini bike right here so which I use and once you gather all the pieces you can uh, it makes it get into the map a whole lot easier. I mean, you can only run so much at the beginning until you uh, start passing out. Uh, here is an entrance for the mini bike. Uh, cannot walk through these holes. Uh, neither can zombies, which is good. It's kind of a glitch, I guess, in the in the computer game and the game itself. So I take advantage of it along with a bunch of other players. Here it would be the entrance if you were walking, basically downstairs. So I will come back to this entrance and uh, show you how that works. So basically, zombies and anybody that you do not like will take this entrance right here. They will walk through these spikes, tear off some limbs, maybe some legs, and then make their way over to those spikes. Actually not these spikes, these are uh, Constantino barbed wire spikes. And eventually fall, ouch, and I already cut myself. There you go they work okay so they will fall into this pit with uh, these fireplaces in the center they will catch on fire so nice warm welcome to them then they will prance around on these spikes losing more and more of their legs and arms and eventually die pretty quick and uh, gruesome and you will be on the safety on that side looting or shooting at them or hitting them whatever you want to do to fend off your base so Anybody can fall in here. I've had bears fall in here and uh, pretty much destroyed them. So this is fairly easy to make. I will explain some of the things why I've done it the height that I've done and why certain blocks are where they are. But just want to give you a ah oh, damn it. Hold on before I bleed out. Okay, demonstrate it again that it does work. Okay, so this is basically the uh, the pit floor. I would call this maybe the first floor. This can be your uh, operation area. Some forges, cook up some steel, some fireplaces, cook up some meals in the center, which is good. That way it'll draw any uh, zombies. Hopefully a lot of them fall into your pit. Here you can see if they fall in or not. Shoot them up. Uh, it's some... Uh, Essentials here crates Cement mixer some more crates uh, Workbench so you could basically put in here anything that you want Whatever it is that you want to do customize it. So uh, You are limited to amount of space. I wouldn't go too much wider than this already is and I'll uh, Cover that in a tutorial just because it can start collapsing uh, You can make it a little bit smaller, but in the bottom you want to give enough room for them to funnel through so you make it too narrow and then you will not have too many uh, fall into the pit so uh, before I head down let's take a look at the uh, top floor ah oh, come on no 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 uh, do a little hop so this is the garden so you want to protect your garden this is basically what you will uh, be living off of some blueberries some potatoes some corn you don't want any random stranger coming around stealing your stuff you don't want zombies tearing this up or dogs chewing on it so now we're gonna go ahead and make our way to the pit floor or the uh, looting area now actually the pit floor so this is the floor where they will fall you will be walking around here shooting them up looting them if you want so it will take them a long time to break through the steel you don't have to have steel right away in fact 
uh, day seven, you can get away with uh, reinforced wood with some metal, and then uh, eventually you want concrete, and then reinforced concrete, and finally, when you can, get to the steel. It's not required right away. So, uh, and then uh, down here is basically the entrance, so you can access the bottom of this. You can access some of these items and repair and replace them from here, but sometimes it's easier to do it from the bottom as well. So this is basically the bottom. Yeah, this would be the looting area because you have a bunch of chests. So when you start looting them, some of these spikes will be gone. It will happen. Some of these fireplaces will be gone. You might have some crawlers crawling around here. At which point you can take a you can take a weapon. Heck, you can even take a pickaxe and start hitting them, and they cannot hit you, which is a pretty cool feature. They cannot hit down. They cannot attack you through these holes. You can mess them up pretty bad and kill them. And then you take all the good stuff and you put it in these chests, whichever one you want. You just, they're all here. So, and I'll show you how to create that. Of course, this will not exist. This will be underground. So you will not have an entrance like this or else that defeats the purpose of the pit. So this is just to show you uh, just what it would look like. So give you an overall view of the pit. So uh, and um, so I am going to show you one last part of this, uh, which you do not have to make. It's up to you. Uh, this can serve as multi-purpose. Can have a little uh, walkway, hallway down like this, leading to the outside. Uh, once again, you cannot walk through here. You can attack through there, but you cannot walk through there. Uh, what you will have to do is hit up the ladder and go up through the hatch. So that will be your entrance exit. Uh, notice how it's a, a good distance away from the spikes. You do not want to be near that, especially if there's a couple zombies in there and you're just trying to get away. You know, you're tired of them. You want you want, you want out. Uh, you don't want to be too close to that. So here's a good distance to that, and then it makes it it makes getting into the bottom of your base easier. So with this ramp. So I will demonstrate once you find one of these high-tech mopeds and you find all the pieces, you assemble it. You will simply enter your moped and you will make your way down through the slot, just like I did. So what works about having it at this angle is that you can go all the way around without having to do any type of uh, U-turn, which is not always fun. It, Turn your radius on this moped sucks. Stage that sucker right here. You do your business. So kill some zombies. Put stuff away. Once uh, noon hits or you uh, want to go for a cruise, get back on your bike. And you will exit. So of course you will not have a pit just like I do. Ooh, got it good. You will be able to just head straight ahead. So. That is a uh, pretty awesome and effective base, I would say, in a nutshell. Uh, you can expand and do something a lot more creative than this. Uh, however, this is a really good and simple design. I say simple because I've done this a couple times and to me it's simple. But once I uh, show you, post that uh, how-to video, you'll, you'll see how simple and uh, how simple the design is, how simple it is to create. So, as you can see on this, this over here, these sides, I experimented with uh, making it a little bit wider. Um, there is another design that I'm gonna make, a little bit more advanced, requires a lot more concrete. So, it would be a good idea to create something like this, then try to tackle something a lot more advanced once you're established. And uh, this is what I'm looking at. So, this would be the ground floor. They would fall into a bigger pit area. And then this would be like the other uh, center of the base. So, and I would also have access to uh, basically this these inner inner hallways. I guess that go around the pit, so I can loot some more. So it's more of a killing area. It's a bigger killing area. It's basically what this is. Of course, I will be in this box, or I will exit down under right there and basically go underneath these 
or come back up and uh, loot them from the other side. So you, you want to do that, because just because uh, you'll have you know several zombies and they will mess up spikes here, and you want to lead them to the other side, and that's basically what you want to do: lead them around. So here's kind of like a, what the refined um, interior of that tower is going to look like. So this is still still in the works. Uh, something that I'm working on I think it'll be uh, pretty good and uh, pretty awesome once I uh, have this finalized so I will definitely show it off so this is a good thing about creative you can create things like these experiment with them see what works and then uh, go out in a uh, survival game and actually go with a plan and know what you want to make it and uh, make it effective so, which is good. You, it's all about surviving. Anything that can help you survive. So, uh, yeah, I will come back to these once that is complete, and then uh, definitely show you how those work, what the intent behind those are. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there will be more. There will be the uh, how-to. So, uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching.